Hi everyone and uh, thank you for joining in today. My name is Peter Wolf, and uh, you're finding me out the back of our brand new Probatone P25 Series 2. Uh, and what I wanted to do was to take today to show you how we set the under pressure um, measurement or how we set the under pressure inside the drum. Uh, what's really important to be able to do this is uh, you'll need to uh, have at least a, a manometer, uh, which is what we have here. Um, look, you know, definitely uh, shop around. You don't need to go out and get yourself something super high tech, uh, but you know, I think something kind of uh, middle of the road um, is what we we use. Uh, and uh, you know, familiarise yourself with the instructions. We're, we're measuring in millibars, um, and we're looking for negative pressure. So on the top of uh, the top of the manometer, you'll see there's positive and negative pressure. Uh, one of the things, why is this important? Well, we're wanting to actually set. Uh, and establish what is the optimum uh, airflow through the roaster, and we can we can physically measure this. There are two different options that you can choose uh, on your roaster, depending on the make and model that you have. Uh, you, you know, we all have an air pressure switch uh, sitting on the back of it. Some of the air pressure switches have uh, located next to it as this is basically a test point right next to it. So you would need to remove the cap off that, and then place. The tube on the end of that cap up here or in the case of this roaster here we have a separate test point uh, on the same line and all I simply do is I need to just hook up to the test point uh, with my tube uh, and then what I then do is I take um, this adjustment, uh, adjustment gate valve here and I slide this backwards and forwards to either increase or decrease the amount of pressure that's held within the roaster and I slide this up and down and what I'm trying to achieve uh, is an under pressure of minus 2.2 millibar. Uh, so it's, it's fairly, fairly straightforward. Um, the good thing I like about these roasters on the, some of the newer sort of pressure switches out now as well uh, is they also come with an inbuilt LED light inside it. So if the LED light is on, that means we are proving airflow and that will, uh, and that's good because uh, that's a safety aspect uh, that's on, on all of the roasters. And this obviously sends a message down uh, to the gas valve that say, hey, all's good, You're, you, can, uh, you can open and allow gas into the roaster. If, uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, then it will be simply looking at uh, either the display on the left hand side of the roast whether that lights up or not. But uh, very simply, uh, it's a really important measurement tool. Uh, we use this and we tune our roasters up basically once a month uh, just to keep an eye on, on what's, uh, what's happening. It also helps us with an indication of you know, what's happening with the pipe work, you know, in terms of keeping it clean. Do we need, you know, do we need to sort of schedule um, a clean out on the, the, the impeller and fan motor a little bit earlier because we're obviously maybe doing a little bit more volume. Uh, it's been a little bit busier, so it really helps how things are tracking uh, and allows us to kind of um, make the sort of changes and keep the roasters running sort of really nice and smooth before it becomes a problem either in the performance of the equipment or in the taste of your coffee. But yeah, definitely uh, give it a shot. It, uh, it's really invaluable. Thanks for watching.